And these days we have customers in the railway industry doing signalling work, in the nuclear industry with safety critical control systems, in both the civil aerospace and the military aerospace industry with safety critical systems. And more recently, the biggest emerging market for us is the high-grade security market, um, perhaps commonly referred to as the market for Mills-style architectures, where we've got multiple levels of security. The concern for secure systems now is now so great um, that the, the Spark approach, if you like, this approach to verification, is really showing dividends in that market. Spark, we find, over the years, has been best suited um, to so-called high assurance projects. So these projects are typically characterised by the possibility or the risk of significant loss uh, as a result of failure in the field of the system. So perhaps it's safety critical, a military aerospace system, or uh, a system which is business critical or security critical to a, a customer, where we can't generate the required evidence of fitness for purpose by fielding the system and then waiting a long time to see if it's sufficiently reliable or safe. With these systems, we have to generate some body of evidence or an argument that the system is fit for purpose before we ever ship the system. And that is actually a categorically challenging engineering um, um, proposal to do that. We also find Spark is used in areas where typically there is some sort of regulator involved. So for high-grade cryptographic systems, the regulator might be the NSA in the US uh, or, or the um, equivalent organisation here in the UK. The railway industry has very strong uh, safety culture and regulation, as does the nuclear industry. So it's typically industries where there's some regulatory authority and a high standard is set for engineering, which needs to be met. Again, generating this obligation to generate evidence that a system is correct um, and will meet its requirements before the system is fielded. Spark very much aligns with those needs because the verification that we can do with Spark is a way of generating the evidence that you need uh, or at least a part of the evidence to suggest that systems are either correct or are at least free from certain large classes of defect. We also find that approach de-risks the development process because we're moving away from using testing and dynamic analysis as the primary verification technique. Um, everyone knows in software engineering test testing is late in a project, it's risky, if you find bugs and then have to rework, it's, it's expensive because it's late in the life cycle. So what we're doing is de-risking the testing process by effectively preventing or detecting defects much earlier in the life cycle by these so-called static verification techniques. Um, so it aligns economically with the particular needs of those kinds of systems as well as meeting the regulatory constraints um, um, that we're used to, to meeting for those industries.